Hi everyone, Cindy here. And to end today's video, I want to answer a question someone recently asked. They said, Cindy, I can't figure out why I'm not healing. And why is this taking so long? Now, this is a great question, but it's also a very deep one. So this particular person had been doing what they thought were all the right things to heal. They've been meditating and using affirmations, watching inspirational videos, doing yoga, all the things. Yet they hadn't reached that sense of peace that they were seeking. And this realization was loaded with shame and judgment and guilt, basically, because what they were doing is they were comparing themselves to other, other people's journeys. And this then escalated to helplessness because they felt like something was wrong with them. So first, please be kind to yourself and have patience. Healing your emotional wounds takes time. Second, your self-healing journey is unique to you and no, one, no one's experienced the same thing you have, so you can't compare yourself to anybody else. Third, you've not been taught how to heal those inner wounds, those dark places that you probably don't wanna to go to. The true key to healing is making peace with your past. So what does that mean exactly? That means releasing the pain from your memories, the ones that are holding you hostage, the ones that are robbing you of your peace. Now it sounds pretty heavy, doesn't it? See, your subconscious is driving the bus at all times. It holds all of your memories, the ones you remember and the ones you don't. And since your brain is always trying to keep you safe, your behavior today right now is based on everything your mind holds from the past. And just like the apps on your phone that are always running silently in the background, refreshing and looking for new data, your brain's kind of like that too, because your brain's a computer and it's always scanning for any dangers based on the data that it already holds from all your life experiences from birth till now. So, if you've stuffed down painful memories, and some of these memories you actually can remember and some you don't, if you've ignored it, if, if you've ignored them and run from them and numbed yourself, self-medicated so you don't have to feel them, guess what? They're still there. And memories don't have to be visual. Physical pain can be a memory stored in the body. Because I've had clients that say, I can't remember anything from my past. Well, physical pain is a memory. And they can show up in your digestive tract, in your joints. And a lot of times people with fibromyalgia tend to have a lot of trauma stored in their joints that they have not released. Um, this can show up also as headaches. It's that mind-body connection that I'm always talking about. So start making a peace list. And this is something that I have my clients do. This is a list that you sit down and you write down all your painful memories and traumatic experiences that has happened in your past because that list right there holds the key to the inner peace that you're seeking. This is why all the things like meditation and affirmations and exercise are not going to bring you the long term peace that you're seeking. These are just temporary fixes to make you feel good in the moment. And they're all great things to do. I do them too. They're healthy ways to cope versus things like binge eating, smoking, drinking, gambling, excessive shopping. But those things don't help you release the pain from your past. And releasing the pain in your past holds the magical key to your inner peace. That's the secret, guys. All right, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.